Hi, everyone. Welcome to BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater, Michelle. Michelle asks, Jeff, I recently had a high voltage, 15.5 alarm on my Victron inverter charger. And by the way, this high voltage is on the DC side, 15.5 volts. The technician said it was caused by my cold batteries. We have preview temperatures here in the Pacific Northwest for a couple of weeks. Can you explain this? Michelle, great question. And the reality is, yes, there is an inverse correlation, especially for uh, inverter chargers or chargers that are temperature compensated. Uh, meaning batteries that are cold need higher charging voltages and batteries that are hot need uh, lower charging voltages, okay? So there's an inverse correlation between temperature, right? And charging voltage. So in the winter time here in the Pacific Northwest, we're based out here as well, it's not uncommon in the winter time when the batteries are really cold, you know, maybe 55 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Something like that, to have the battery voltage from the charger exceed what we would expect, right? And most of us generally expect a charging voltage on a flooded lead acid battery, 14.4, 14.6, AGM, same thing, around there, 14.2, some of them, but you know, 14.2 to 14.6 is what we would see for a non-temperature compensated, big word, uh, charging voltage. But if you have an inverter charger or a charger or an alternator that is temperature compensated, uh, meaning that they adjust what they think is the ideal charging voltage for the temperature of the battery, then you should expect uh, a different charging voltage. Now, some of you might worry, like, is it? Well, disconnect the charge. Don't, when I say disconnect, I don't mean disconnect it from the battery because now you're just going to be measuring ambient temperature. And that little sensor should be installed directly on a battery post, ideally a negative, never on top of the battery because there's generally an air gap and you're going to be measuring the not the same temperature as inside the battery. The best way, and most of them are, looks like battery lugs with a wire connected to it. And it's actually two wire because it's a resistor measuring your resistance. You basically, what you wanna do is you wanna have that temperature sensor on the negative battery post, probably of what you would expect to be the warmest battery of the bunch. Meaning if there's a bunch of batteries that are wired, figure out which one is gonna be the warmest. If you don't know, take a temperature gun when it's an uh, infrared temperature gun when your batteries are charging and put the temperature sensor in that location. And if you're doubting that your inverter charger or your external regulator or your battery charger is not overcharging, disconnect the leads at the inverter charger or at the external regulator or at the charger. And if there's no temperature probe connected at the charger, not at the battery, then you'll actually notice once you cycle the inverter charger or, or those devices on or off, you'll probably see a lower charging voltage. Because when we think about battery voltages, 12 volts, for example, we're actually thinking that all those battery voltages are for 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So temperature changes everything, right? Um, and so for batteries, if we assume it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, most of us don't always have batteries at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes they're colder, sometimes they're warmer. And so that change of temperature is why inverter chargers, chargers, external regulators, and even some controllers are temperature compensated. And that's why you would see a higher charging voltage in the wintertime when your batteries are cold. So great question, Michelle, and thanks for asking. If you're curious, we've written whole articles about this. Go on our website, search it out, uh, and we've got a lot of other uh, tech talks about this very topic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, it actually, it really does make a difference. It encourages us to keep posting. So if you're watching this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe, we really do care because the more of you that are watching, the more of us over here are willing to put, spend more time in creating content. So thanks again.